Hello everybody, welcome. Today I want to talk about something that has bothered me for a very, very long time. Imagine that you are in a public spot. So, you go and turn Wi-Fi on, right? And usually you're gonna get a completely open network and you have to log in uh, through a captive portal first before you are online. And that all before you can actually connect to your VPN. This is not fine because in the meantime, your applications will try to connect to services and send credentials out, hopefully encrypted, right? But still, a lot of traffic goes out with a lot of personal data and you don't want that to be open or in possession of whoever controls your network. So when I found out that the Raspberry Pi Zero works as um, an internet USB adapter, I thought that this can be what I'm looking for to fix this problem. It is booting up. It takes quite a while. The Raspberry Pi Zero is quite slow, but enough for the purpose of this. It has just loaded the VNC server. This is the default paper. And since I have only one USB port, I'm actually going to use Apple's keyboard because it has two extra USB ports here and I can connect them all. Okay, so I'm connected to the Raspberry and this is the method I'm going to use, yes. So once I'm connected to my laptop, I will use the USB IP address, connect via VNC, log into the captive portal, connect VPN, and then I can browse the internet. So let's see. I haven't used this since March or April, so let's just update everything. The Pi Zero is a very slow device, yes, yeah, so you don't want to be doing much on it. What's gonna happen is I will only connect to Wi-Fi connect VPN and share the connections. Well, that is the plan. All right, so I have upgraded and rebooted the Raspberry and we are ready for action. I usually try to find out what the flags do, but I'm in a rush and I have this on my pipeline for ages, so I just want to get it done. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so let's do a config. No VIN. Alright, let's see if I have a VC over overlay already. Oh yes I do. But not here. Okay. Let's try to find VWC2 from the first line. Alright, so let's just go to the end. Come on, you just should go to the last line. I'll read on, on the file, so let's leave. One day I'm gonna go to this page and have a look on this config txt page, but now no it's a bit overlay them to see two. Ah, but it should be as the last line. Let's follow the documentation then. The next file to be edited should be CMD line. Let's try that. Add a space after the last word on the first line. Root wait. Well, here it assumes that is the last word on the first line, but here it actually isn't. I have quite splash 
fly mouth ignore cervical soles. Now I usually, I usually ignore the splash screen or still the splash screen screen there. Do I have modules load before that? No, so Let's resolve the situation installed in. Let's try again. All right, so you don't have yet a modules load line. I mean flag. So let's just go to the end. And add modules load and we'll see to the ether. All right, so for now, then what's next? Use the micro USB cable straight to the compute. So let's shut it on. So according to the instructions, I should connect the USB cable not to the power port, but to the other one. So let's do that. And I can connect it to the computer. And in theory, I should see an internet device once the Pi boots up. The Raspberry has finished booting up. So if I go to the system profiler, you will see that I have now a USB Ethernet card and it seems to have loaded a driver and I also have a MAC address. In theory, now if I go to system preferences and I go to network, I should have seen something like a new interface here although it doesn't seem to have populated correctly or detected. To be sure, we can open the terminal and if we go and do, for example, if config, you see there is a new interface here with the same MAC address here as the USB device. So it somehow is working I don't know why the network page is not showing it, but let's see if I can, for example, ping according to the instructions. So if I do raspberry by the local. Hello again. After a little bit of struggle, I found out what the issue was. First thing is, I was investigating using a Windows PC and I would find out an unknown USB device in device manager. And I found out that both Windows and the Mac were giving up on connecting to the Raspberry Pi before the USB driver had even loaded. So Mac showed me that weird USB device and then gave up. And Windows was just stuck with an unknown device in the device manager. So what I did was to first connect the Raspberry to a power bank waiting for it to boot up and then connect it to the computer. When I move to my laptop, I'm quite confident that this is work out with the using two USB cables, right? One for power and then the other one for Ethernet. So if we go here to system preferences, go to network. You see here that the gadget has a menu IP address that I set based on that uh, uh, blog entry I found. And if you go to VNC Viewer, it is here. During the configuration, I also found another issue that I already resolved. Not, it's not a perfect solution yet, but what happens is when you load the USB driver, if 
to go here. The Wi-Fi chooser tries to bond to the All right, so I decided to give a last shot at this. And I found out when I was looking for why the HCPD was crashing. And that's what, what I was getting when I was hovering the mouse over here. Found out that you should not have the HCP information set on the interfaces. It will collide with the configuration of the HCPD and it will crash. So I commented all the lines I had set before. And what I did was, I went to DHCP, this file here, and I set up my USB interface to have the static address here. So once I restarted, I got both interfaces up, wireless and the USB. The USB is ready, it's going to have fixed IP address, I may change a few things once I prefer the configuration for the VPN client and so on. But for now, I can log in at any time without having to connect it to my TV and I can keep working on this project. The next step for me will be to prepare my VPN server, install a VPN client here, it's gonna be OpenVPN, and then start testing the connection. And once this works, I just have to set up routing so you know the traffic flows between the two interfaces and probably the HTTP server on the Raspberry and so on. So now I'm really going. Thanks for watching, and I see you on part two.